All right, back down with the Petty Brothers, Timmy, Mark, and Richie. I guess today we're going to dive into some of our racing career stories, which I guess we'll go back to 1994, Daytona Beach, for the Pepsi 400. And uh, qualifying is a funny story that took place there with, with our dad. But uh, anyway, the, uh, it had rained. And we were the first car out, so do you, Timmy, you want to take over a little bit? So it, the, the, they used to do two or three rounds in qualifying. This was the second round, and it was kind of a game, and within a game of where you were going to go re-attempt it. And usually, unless you put somebody else's engine in, you was going to slow down for second round because you'd done everything you could to run as fast as you could the first day. Well, we, uh, we felt like we could run better and uh, we left a little bit on the table, we thought, and... Uh, yeah, but this was first round, because we stood. No, nah, second round, wasn't it? I, I'm pretty sure we stood on the second Well, how was it? it had no, it was, it was second round qualifying. Because, because, because it, we was one of the only ones on pit road. Okay, if okay, If you yes. remember, yeah. we'd, we'd, we'd run, we'd There's run. an argument amongst us. The <laughs> way well, I remember. Okay, well, go ahead. But y'all it was second round. Okay. It was second round because we'd, we'd run and every, we'd put everything we had on it and and then we thought we had a little bit extra. And we, okay. But, but in all reality, it was probably going to slow down. We were waiting. Because everybody else did that day. We were waiting in line to go through tech before tech ever opened okay. that day. You're right. Because right. we didn't have nothing but just what we had. I stand yeah. corrected. But either way. <laughs> and we're right and wrong. <laughs> As always. So anyway, yeah, we uh, go ahead, Mark. No, I, I mean, I just remember we was just right on the verge. It was So it started raining while we were all, we had already pushed through first ones on the line. Yep. And throwed the car cover on because we it was raining. Yep. And anyway, so uh, there was a delay on the rate for race track activity. So the racetrack cooled off and everything was good. Yeah, on. but probably wasn't but three or four cars that went right and to my knowledge everybody else slowed down that day but us right but anyway we <laughs> well, loaded the car cover and just stood there and kind of waited and you know uh, so anyway we made the lap and we picked up faster and we'd run all week yeah and, and, we and come, maybe it was just because um we were the first one out i don't know it could have been a couple for some of reason we picked up <laughs> right so when we got done running we go back to the garage area, and, and our dad was sitting in there with his cane and kind of had that serious look like we had done Mom something. Mom and dad both. They were standing yeah. there together. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. like we had done something wrong. He said, I don't know what y'all have done, Yeah, but don't tell me <laughs> until we go back to the motel. Do not mention a word. But he had Which his, we really hadn't done he nothing. Had his, but well, we run fast enough to make the rain. But right, had, and, he, and everybody that stood... Yeah, but he had including his, the Petty Enterprise he had car. It, he had his he had his arms folded, had his cane there. I remember and he had that old head cocked. He was like, he was mad at us for making it. I don't know what no, y'all did. No, he was laughing. It. He was like, he was so happy he couldn't stand it. But he was like, I don't know what y'all did. Well, he assumed don't we did something it. illegal. <laughs> right, right, right. Because we had picked up. And we so would much, never do that. No. And, but anyways, he. Uh, he said, I don't even want to hear about it till we get back to the motel and ain't nobody around. Which right. was really nothing to tell. Right. No, but it just, it, it you know. It, it was a good story because it was just the way, the happiness on his face because he knew we'd made the race because we done picked up a little bit. And, and it, you're looking at the surprised. three that was there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, against big major league teams, so. I, I, that was probably uh, one of their, our finest we, we, we probably didn't have no business being there, but there wasn't nobody on earth could tell us that. No, right? not at the time. Was, we thought, yeah. Now, what that did, and that the 43 was Wally Dollenbach, so he didn't make the show. And this was back when you had a bunch of cars not making races. Well, anyway, the, the 53 operation, which was the three of us, we made the show. And we didn't have a pit crew. <laughs> not at full time. Nothing. <laughs> So anyway, Dad, we were used to Arca racing he, uh, and, and picking up cup guys. He offered up our car to Richard. He's like, you know, I know y'all with the STP. If you need a car, you can have ours. And but Richard's like, no, no, he needs experience. So you need to keep him in the car. Y'all need to do y'all's own deal. So we're sitting there. We're we're all happy and giddy and getting their car ready and all that. They did a post race inspection. Yes, and he looked at it and they come over and, and make sure that our spoiler wasn't doing something crazy and. I think they even took a hole saw yeah. and, and went into our, oh, yeah, they, our, our uh, deck lid. They, they looked at us pretty good. So Elmo Langley, I know where you're going with this. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you tell it. You tell it good. So I guess we probably shouldn't say it. We're going to use the exact words Elmo said. 
He said, I just want you boys to know. Which, by the way, he had that, remember that 53 shirt? Yeah. Yeah. Our biggest fan. Yes. Different story. So Elmo was bad about messing with us. And and God rest his soul, great guy. I love Miss him to this day. But he come up to us. He said, I just, he come in there like he was fixing to tell us something really important, which it was. He said, I, he said, I want y'all to know. Mark this down, this date. <laughs> that Elmo Langley told y'all that y'all have shit in your own mask kit. And, <laughs> and you can read between the lines. And he was right. Well, and, and in all fairness, I mean, there we was with a blank car. And there was high dollar sponsors going home. That wasn't good for the sport. And we, In the same breath, he was happy for us, too. Right. He because was he was a... He struggled like that. Yeah. Elmo was the yeah. original independent, yes. right? Yeah. One, or one of the... Or one, one of the, yes. or one of the survivors. The, the surviving it. Kind of like the old... Uh, but he he seen what we had, and he'd done the comparison. In my in my brain, he compared us to him, and he was happy for well, it because he, he knew what death. it took to do that. Yeah. 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 And, we, and it was... We, we went up against the best. And what we did was no different than... Proud to accomplish we're bragging right now. <laughs> well, it was no different than winning the lottery. We just got oh, yeah. lucky. It, we did. And then cooled down know, enough. We just got the lucky. The wind laid. The, uh, no whatever script. happened, happened. The seas parted. Yes. Yeah. Moses was there with his stick. Oh, yeah, we made it. Well, yeah, this might be a bit. Now, okay, we went and made the race. We, when we, the race is over and all that. And Daddy told us, he said, okay, there might be some friction because y'all made the race and they in, did into not. 43. So let, let's don't, let's try to keep some peace in the round. So he said, well, you might want to stay, uh, we might want to stay away from he Bible Cross. He said exact words, me and your mama's heading from here <laughs> going straight to Holden Beach. You're all welcome to come, but go home, park the truck, and stay out of Level Cross for a week. I don't know care where you go. That's right. Just don't be around because. And of he it. was a boss. Well, but but he just did that because he didn't want no. Well, he didn't want anybody. He didn't want any friction with anybody. He wanted peace. Our daddy could finish an argument, but he wasn't much on starting. Right. right. No. And, right. And, and knew how to avoid one. But anyway, yeah. He just he just knew that they would be you know you got you got people that's outside the family that's always stirring up the pot more. And he knew to get us away from that, right? Yeah, when well, it was it was hot in the summer. And <laughs> so anyway, we took off. You, we took off, and we didn't come back. We didn't come back I, around for a I few had days. A great week at Holden Beach. We went to Holden Beach. If yeah. somebody don't tell you, good job. Good no, job. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. You was our group. But here was the. But here was. The, but here was the funny thing. <laughs> He didn't get the message to Grandfather Petty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. One. I don't know. So anyway, not to tell us later on. We learned this later on. As uh, soon as the truck pulled in that Monday morning or whatever, the forty-three truck. Right. Yeah. Lee it was Pet- forty-four though, wasn't it? No, it was whatever. forty-three. It was yeah, forty-three. Yeah, yeah. They were back. Wally. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, Rick Wilson was forty-four. So Lee Lee, Lee right. Petty he he shows up down there. And he said, I sent them boys down there with $5,000, and they made that race. I don't know what y'all did, but maybe you should take some lessons from them. <laughs> but grandfather lived right beside the gate. Right. So, and he was yeah. waiting on them. He, he didn't get the memo, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. So anyway, we've got a lot of good stories, a lot of good memories. And that was probably one of our highlights of our racing. It was big. What a highlight! It wasn't. It, no, it was wasn't, just us making the race over was, big it, teams. Yeah, it, it was just making the race and being a part of it because, you know, we we were a we were a small time outfit yeah. and we beat some big time outfits that day. Yeah. So it don't happen many times in life, but we we were David and Goliath. That's well, I was exactly what I was going to use. We were we were the little Davids. So you like the, what we're talking about? Leave us some comments. We'll have some more. Uh, yep. Stories and like and subscribe. And we're not really ones to, to brag much, but we got much to brag about. <laughs> uh, that was one of them. Like and subscribe. <laughs>